subject, how do you love your enemy? Dear Stephen Shirley, my husband and I recently celebrated our second anniversary. I think that our relationship is healthy, except for some issues that I have with his baby's mama. When we started dating, she began messaging me on Facebook. She threatened to beat me up and told me that my man was still sleeping with her and even called my daughter ugly. If I deleted or blocked her, she would create fake profiles to message me again. I usually did not argue back and forth with her, but when she called my daughter ugly, I slipped. After we got married, the harassment dissipated. During this phase, she once told my husband that I didn't need to be afraid of her. A little while later, my husband and I became primary caregivers to our children. We had them for the summer, and they started the school year living with us. One weekend, while their mother, while with their mother, she called my husband, alleging that I hit one of our children. This was not true, and my husband talked to her about the situation, and it seemed to be resolved. Months later, we went to pick the kids up from school, and she was there. She approached me with her newborn baby strapped to her chest and started yelling at me while I was sitting in the car. I got out of the car, and I was sure that that things would not escalate because we were in front of the school and she was holding a baby. Plus, I had not been in a hood rat type altercation since high school. Hood rat type (laughs) altercation since high school. Mm -hmm. I tried to explain to her that I did not hit our daughter. At this point, she's... At this point... She spit a warm, what, humongous DNA-filled loogie in my face. Oh, oh hell to the no. Oh, my God. I asked her to hand her baby to her mother because I had every intention of whipping her tail. But she would not give the baby up, so that ended the altercation. Now, a year later, the kids are staying with us again. and huh? Yeah, and so we are often picking them up from their mother and her side of the family. I have no interest in talking to these people. I feel as though if you can spit in my face with no apology or remorse, you have no respect for me and there is no reason for us to talk. Recently, the baby's mama has been making an effort to speak to me. There is something that I really don't want to do. This is something that I really don't want to do, but at the same time, I don't want our kids to see us not getting along. I also feel that my dislike for the woman puts my husband in an awkward position. Uh, How can I be polite to someone that I cannot stand? How should I act toward this woman? I have never been in a position where I had to continue association with someone that I dislike so much. How do I interact with her? (sighs) I was stuck on the spitting the big DNA filled humongous yeah. warm loogie in your face, but I have to tell you, you're a really nice person. Uh, you are really nice. You have great patience as well. How do you do this when someone does this to you? You have manners. You have class. Okay, you really do. I I, I mean, from her calling your baby ugly, from her lying on you, saying you hit the daughter. I mean, this woman is horrible. This is a horrible, horrible bitter woman and she's probably ugly she's calling your baby ugly she's probably the ugly one that's why he's not with her anymore but i i can understand you not liking this crazy woman I, ugh, and i'm not one to you know to immediately say jump on anybody that's just not what i do but i'm just surprised you didn't <laughs> I'm, I'm just surprised you didn't go there with her and i understand she had a baby but maybe you should have taken the baby given it to the mother yeah, yeah, but thank you and then, you know, jumped on the woman. But you didn't want to do that because you're in front of school and there are yeah. kids involved. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I good. really do get it. I get how you feel. Yeah. I have to tell you, if you want, <laughs> I know you're, yeah. you're chomping at I'm the bit over here. But, but I have to tell you, though, in, on, in all honesty, from my heart, if you want to know how to move on with your life and how to deal with this, you have to. Have yeah. to find it in your heart to forgive her. That's good. You absolutely yeah. have to. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's about turn. It's about turn. It's your yes, turn. It is. Let me That's just what start I say, though, forgive her. How can I be polite to someone that I cannot stand? How should I act towards this woman? I've never been in a position where I had to continue association with someone that I dislike so much. How do I interact with her? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, no, yeah. What I do know mm-hmm. yes. is that I got <laughs> to spit back in your damn face oh before we can move forward. Hello. This is a must. There is no way 
I can get to any level <laughs> of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. There yes. is no way that I can I possibly overlook this altercation. <laughs> We must begin the healing process. I got to spit back in your ear. Ew, ew, ew. I got to hack one up from yes. the bowels of my gut. Yes, sir. I'm yes, going to lay under an air conditioner for a week with no shirt on to build up excess congestion. <laughs> I am going to refuse ew. all attempts to take any Mucinex or any other damn medicine for it. I yes. want to be fully congested. Right. Oh. And then I am going to <sighs> from the bowels, One more time, one more time. <laughs> from the bowels of my gut. Oh, and yes. I'm going to go so, so deep to hack this up. It'd probably be something else in your face, too. Oh. <laughs> Hot, deep in me, I'm going to hack up on you. That must yeah. happen first. First. <laughs> Before you and I, I can, get I to can begin the yes. healing process. Uh -huh. I don't know where you're from. I don't know what nice level lady. of Christian you thought I was when you wrote in to me. Mm -hmm. I am a Christian. Yes, you are. I consider myself to be an imperfect soldier for mm -hmm. Christ. And I have I have not learned all the rules of Christianity. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable with the love your enemy portion of the oh, Bible. No. I haven't <laughs> quite wrapped my mind around that. I have it's not hard. wrapped my mind around the turn the other cheek yeah. verse. It's a couple of them I'm struggling with. I love the Lord. I believe him with all my heart. And he is the reason I am today. Uh -huh. But mm. there are some instructions that he has <laughs> that is a little bit <laughs> troubling <laughs> to me. Not an easy Just road. as a man. Mm. Love thy uh, enemy. I, 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 I'm struggling with that. <laughs> Turn the other cheek. Oh. I, 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 I don't, I, I'm struggling with all that. Don't covet thy neighbor's mm. wife. She coming out here, barely got no clothes on. I'm trying to mow this grass. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking at her, Lord help me. What are you I, doing I, with some this? things that it, just as a Christian, <laughs> sometimes we, I, I don't know what we to do. We fall short, we do. I, I'm in here uh -huh. trying to pay attention to the word. Dig deep again. But, but, but <sighs> Sister Sharinda then came in here and her robe then flew up and I'm not <laughs> focusing on the word at all right now. I'm just letting you know the things that I'm struggling with mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. So and then we'll get back to the letter when we come back. <sighs> but we must begin yes. this whole process. Uh -huh. with a, with I wood. must <laughs> hack yes. and spit all over your yes. damn spit face. From the bowel. Twice. <laughs> Let's get let's back go. to this nasty <laughs> okay. woman spitting on people and calling your baby ugly. Yes. Let's start. Let's bag yes. this whole letter up. You got tired of the, your man's baby mama when she started calling your baby name. Then she saw your baby and she called your baby ugly. Ugh. I don't know how it ain't pop off then. Right. But you being the good Christian that you are, you let this go down. Mm -hmm. Now, only one or two things we have to consider here. Like Shirley said, Either she's extremely ugly <laughs> and they got the nerve to call the baby ugly because who calls a baby ugly? Right. Now, there are some unattractive children. <laughs> yes, it is. In this world. I have seen some and have been forced to look at them and it's just thrown me a little bit. See, right there. Because yeah, I had a partner that, he, Ugg, Ugg met, got married. I couldn't believe he got married. His, he came to a show. We called him Ugg when he was growing up. Why did you call him Ugg? Because he ugly. <laughs> you, you, you get nicknames you know when you're black. You know, what? You know peanut because your head's small. <laughs> you know, nuck nuck because you fighting all the time. <laughs> Cracker barrel because your teeth ain't straight. Yeah. You know, stuff. That's why you get nicknamed like that. Ugg married an ugly chick and brought the baby to the uh, to my hotel after the show. And and it was cold outside. You know how you cover the baby up. And he opened up the blanket and showed me the baby. And I said, well, <gasps> <laughs> What? I, I did like when he showed me the baby. I went, <gasps> stupid, and I couldn't think of nothing. So all I could say was, "Boy, oh, that oh, baby looked just like you." Oh, no. I knew the baby was ugly. Now other than that, let's move on. Okay. Okay. You know she Crazy. called your husband all this hip. Now, here the part. She approached me mm -hmm. with her newborn baby mm -hmm. strapped to her chest and started yelling at me while I was sitting in the car. 
I got out the car. Yeah. And sure things would not escalate, cause in front of the school that she was holding the baby. Plus, I'd not been in a hood type altercation since high school. Tried to explain to her. Then that's when she gathered up all her muster and spit on you. Uh, now, uh, me personally, uh, come on, with the baby strapped to the chest, yeah, which yes. is not my business anymore. Uh, See, come on, Steve. I can't consider this baby no more. Plus, they usually strap the baby face forward to the mama. Yeah, yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah, they do. I'd have punched her as another woman so hard in her throat, I'd have got a piece of the baby head on the way in. Oh, Steve, Because, hey, I'm I'm in here, I'm swinging at your throat, but your baby moved, and I skimmed across the baby head. I didn't hit you in the throat. Steve but you I would have spit on that. you with the baby there. And let me tell you something. <sighs> like I said, I'd have laid under the air conditioner you. for a couple <laughs> weeks with no shirt on, refusing to take any medicine. <laughs> I'd have spit on you and it got on the baby. You'd have been up for two weeks all night with this baby because the baby didn't call colic. Because oh. I done put something on you. <laughs> but what you're not going to do is spit on me. So I don't want to talk answer. about nothing in this damn letter <laughs> except how you going to move forward uh-huh. without letting me spit on you. <laughs> you must present yourself to me unarmed, uh-huh. naked, yeah. no baby. and stand in front of me without the baby and uh-huh. say, Steve, in order for us to move on, I know you got to spit on me. Are you ready? <laughs> Yes, I'm sick as hell. Here I go. That's the only way this is happening.